And how are the original five doing now? How are think? the original five? I think Pass Mariah is, you know, is having a horrible time. Why? Uh, I think the factory has found a, an interesting niche, but even there, they're only doing half a season. Because, I, well, I would say it's because they've garnered their cost to the comfort station. Right. And therefore, they can only produce two or three things, and usually in co-production. Pass Marai doesn't even have that kind of credibility, and so they're in a horrible situation here. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Tarragon is doing very well. Uh, but it's, you know, when I look at the number of people that they have on salary to support a little 200-seat enterprise, I, you know, I can't get too excited because my idea of excitement was that you started a show in, a, in 60 seats in the back space here, you know. Linda Griffiths, um, Maggie and Pierre started here in the back space and then grew. And then it went to, you know, 400 stuff people, normally what, probably about 270 or whatever it was, in the upstairs at Pass Marai, then out on tour, and eventually it was big enough to play the Royal Alley. But is Pass Marai in trouble because of the audience now? Well, partly because, well, partly because um, they haven't had a winner. Like, the pattern has always been six or seven experiments, one winner. The winner hopefully was big enough so that it would cover the cost of all the ones that didn't work. Right. Now they can't hang in the, in the shadows long enough to get the six or seven shows to come up with the next winner. But that's the audience dollar. I'm talking about the audience appetite. Well, the, it depends. I mean, you know... Um, do you think there's the still there's the well, same, same appetite? Say, in, okay, in what was the, what was that Toronto? show the, um, the, the, the 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 kink in my hair? Right. The kink in my hair started as a fringe show. Then came into Pass Marai. Well, I think I see, remember it in the back space of Pass Marai first. And then I remember it on the front space of Pass Marai, and uh, generating all kinds of excitement. And then like, you, you know, the pattern of Pass Marai shows that I favor, and I wouldn't call that. A pass, it was a Pass Marai like show that Pass Marai helped happen, but it wasn't, you know, right. it was created, it had to be created by the black community, black women right. for themselves. Uh, it ended up in that wonderful pattern, you know, like this is the, the, the one that I really like is that you start and the audience keeps growing and you keep growing with your audience. And how do you think, Paul, do we, do we approach, because Toronto is. Now, I, the, having where I can go yeah, onto that, just in sort of the, the tarragon model, uh, somehow or other, has a hard time encouraging that. The best way they can do things is to say the success of a show will encourage other productions of that show in other places across the country, but primarily in 200-seat phenomenon. Unless it's half-life. Unless it's half-life. Which Sorry, actually Life started over here. Yeah, John which is not a tarragon play, which is basically, uh, you know, a Daniel Brooks, right. uh, John Might John collaboration, uh, and, and has gone through th three or four different configurations before it went there. But that's a great example of how that did, and they, and they used, but they could have come to Factory, they could have come to Pass Marai, and the stepping stone would still, well, with Factory or Pass Marai, or the stepping stone would have been the Mervishes. Probably more than the other way. Although, yeah, it'd be interesting. Oh, the Mervishes would have loved this show, yeah. But I'm talking about the appetite of an audience. Well, the appetite of the audience. Uh, in that Toronto and uh -huh. Ontario well, has say, rapidly. Okay, Tarragon it's has a lot an, different than it was no, in no, the Tarragon 70s. No, right? Tarragon has an appetite for an audience, and as long as they stay within a certain um, framework, that audience will come out in droves. You know, the, the, the framework for the show you did? Worked very well for that audience. So that, no that great was mischief. Where, yeah, no, no great, great mischief. mischief. Their, their capacity for nationalism had, had grown to that point. I don't think if that show had been done there like, like 10, 12 years before, right. it would have worked. But, you know, they have nourished an audience and it has embraced uh, a certain form of nationalism as long as it's, uh, it works within their comfort zone. 